Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jack, and today we're here with some more prison, episode number 27. And uh, first off, I want to start this video off by saying that if I do sound a little groggy or tired or whatever, I am sorry, it is like nearly 7 in the I think it's like 7 in the morning now. Um, because I actually been, have been delaying this. Uh, if you guys don't know, um, this isn't going to be going up for, uh, you know, a couple weeks, or no, like, maybe like 9 or 10 days after this is being recorded. This is being recorded, uh, the morning of August 1st, and I don't think it's going to go up till maybe, like, the 10th or 11th or something like that. Um, anyway, so, uh, I was supposed to record a lot last night, and I kind of still haven't gone to bed yet, because I was playing a bunch of, uh, CSGO, uh, and so, of course, now I'm tired, and, um, yeah, I didn't talk much, though, so my voice is still intact, I think, um, so I still have to do this, and I think, I think I still have to do a, uh, another Skyhawk episode, and then I think I need to do a couple of, uh, Hunger Games, um, and I think I'll have to actually go past, uh, episode 100, but, but by the time this is being uploaded, I've already uploaded a video where I talk about that, so I'm not gonna talk about that anymore, um, but anyway, guys, in this video, um, I did want to talk about a topic, uh, and it's not, a, it's not like a super serious topic, but it's not, it's also not like a, a tips thing. It's, it's more of an opinion kind of video. But before I tell you guys what that, what, what the topic is, um, let me just say, guys, let us go for 40 slavery legs. Make sure it's all slavery and stuff. Otherwise, it doesn't count as much in my heart because the more slavery it is, the better. Uh, and the more, the bigger place it has in my heart. So anyway, uh, the topic for this video is going to be about online friends versus, uh, uh, non-online friends, I guess, real-life friends, um, and, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start this video off, I'm, I'm actually not going to be doing my usual, uh, background video of me, uh, going around selling my emerald blocks, um, I decided I may as well do some mining, because I haven't done mining for quite a while, um, and I'm sorry that I have not actually done, uh, a lot of, uh, work, like, on my plot, like, I know people are probably gonna be like, Jack, do some plot work and stuff, and stop doing these topic things, and keep doing stuff with Mark, uh, I, honestly, Mark is busy today, when I had to grind record, so I really didn't bother asking him, so, uh, hopefully by the time I get back from my vacation, uh, I'm gonna be going to Michigan for, like, nine or ten days, uh, hopefully by the time I get back, he will be, uh, less busy, um, but then, of course, by the time I get back, school will almost have started, and PAX will almost come around, um, but anyway, hopefully by the time I get back, Mark will be, uh, ready to record some stuff with me, we'll probably be a lot more organized, hopefully, um, I think that, that's the plan, so we're a lot more organized, and so we're actually able to get videos together, uh, and so we'll actually be able to get some plot work done, and, you know, get back to the way we used to be, so, uh, and, uh, I, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, I don't think, I, yeah, I don't think I've ever mentioned this in the video, uh, the series has actually decided to take a different turn. Uh, I know for the last, like, ten episodes, it's only been me. But if you guys remember back in the day when uh, we talked, or when uh, it was me, Mark, and Kyle, or I guess Kyle, Mark, and I, uh, it is it ended up happening where Kyle has left the series. I think it's, um, I don't remember exactly why. Um, I think it's because he quit doing, uh, like, YouTube videos in general uh, to focus on real-life stuff. I don't exactly remember the whole reason. I think he had a video on it on his channel. Anyway, so it's just going to be Mark and I for a while. I think we're going to try to replace him with a uh, another third person, like a third wheel again. But uh, I don't exactly know who we want to get in on it. So if you have any ideas who you want uh, to be the third wheel with Mark and I, uh, make sure you guys tell me in the comments down below. And, uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing the, the hunt. We'll do some, uh, open casting call editions uh, in a couple weeks. So, anyway, let me get on to this topic. And first off, uh, if you remember last episode, I think it was, I ranked up and I went, uh, or I ranked up to Q. So, ooh, I did not mean to do PQ, I meant to do Warp Q. Uh, and I have my nice pickaxe on me, and there's a lot of emerald blocks here. So this is a pretty nice area to mine in. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna start off, or I'm gonna start this off by saying that I personally believe that, uh, just in my honest opinion, that, uh, I, I prefer internet friends, just over real life friends. Now, if you're a real life friend and you're watching this, I am sorry, do not take any offense to it. Uh, but it's just, you know, I, I feel like the pros for online people outweigh the, the pros of real life friends and the cons of, uh, real life people and cons of, uh, internet people. I, I just feel like overall, uh, internet friends I have a, a better time with. Uh, and also, there's, there's a few advantages. I have, uh, like I have for several of my last few topic episodes, um, actually, hold on, I want to do that thing really quickly where I fill up my entire inventory with the emerald blocks so that, uh, I only pick up emerald blocks, so let me do that really fast. Fill this up like so, and get rid of this, put like that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, and back up a little bit, bam, 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 put like that, bam, bam. 
Bam, 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 and then Yankee Slam. All right, beautiful. I have all the Emerald Blocks I need now, so now all I can pick up is Emerald Blocks. So, anyway, I have my pros and cons here. I think I have, yeah, I have four for each of them. Uh, it was honestly harder coming up with the cons of online um, online friendships versus uh, the pros. Just because I, you know, you know, most of my friends are from the internet anyway, so it was easier to think of pros. Um, so, anyway, guys... Um, hold on, let me slash feed really fast. So the first pro I had for online friendships, in, in my personal opinion, is that uh, more people to choose from. Yes, more people to choose from because you have the entire internet to choose people that have similar interests to you. So it's more likely that you'll find people that, you know, want to play Minecraft with you or want to play Counter-Strike with you or want to play, you know, I don't I don't know what else people play, you know, Pajama Sam, I don't even know. That's not multiplayer, is it? No, it's not multiplayer. Uh, it, that, that was, that's an old game from way back in the day. I don't know why I mentioned that. I, I was just thinking and nostalgic for a second um yeah i really don't play any other games besides minecraft and counter-strike at the moment so I, I don't have anything else as examples anyway uh so through the internet you know whether it be through youtube or twitter or you know playing minecraft or playing counter-strike and you know you meet some random people on steam or whatever I feel like, you know, the people that you meet, there's so many, oh, whoop, okay, reset. Uh, th there are so many more people that you can meet, you know, usually for real life um, friendships. I I'm gonna, when, when I'm talking about the pros and cons and I'm comparing real life friends, uh, when I say real life friends, I mean people that you know at school specifically, more as, it, you know, maybe unless, like, you know some random hobo from the bus stop or something, but uh, mostly I'm talking about uh, people that you know at school and, like, you talk to on a daily basis, you know, Monday through Friday at least, and maybe you text from time to time but you don't really talk to as much outside of school besides you know maybe you know an occasional text saying like what's up or what you get for answer 17 or not for question 17 on you know page five of the math packet or something like that so uh anyway first con or first pro for online friendships is that there's a lot more people to talk to and there's a lot more people that you can you know bond with and you know uh have probably some more interest with and then not only will the quality of uh, relationship probably be better but also the amount of friendships you can probably have will be better because there's so many people on the internet these days uh, all those you know little all those hooligans all those people and their shenanigans on the internet these days i mean i'm not an internet person of course uh, it's not like i have a youtube channel or a twitter or uh, a, a instagram or anything like that no 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 uh, actually i have a full thing so let me go back home and i'm gonna just gonna should i stock them or should i or should I fill my shop? I feel like my shop is kind of a waste of time. Um, but I don't honestly feel like going all the way to the guy's thing right now. Uh, maybe I will. I'll just go there. I think it was uh, PH Diamante Acid. Diamante Acid. And beautiful. Okay. So, uh, the second pro I have is that... Um, yeah, this is something that I don't know if, uh, as many people may agree with. But, uh, personally, I feel like it's better... Um, to kind of, you know, because when, when I'm talking to my online friends, uh, even though they kind of distract me from some real life stuff, they also get rid of or, well, like, they, they distract me from some real life problems that I have, and uh, I feel like uh, the people that I know in real life, like, people I talk to at school uh, are more, like, aware of the, you know, problems that I have going on in real life, and so they try to, you know, like, talk to me about him and you know we have to talk to him like let's say i have this huge essay i have to write the next day and if i'm talking to my online friends they don't care you know we just have fun and we just play you know minecraft or something so i feel like 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 i'm a higher majority of the time when i'm talking to my on, uh online internet friend people uh it, it's more about fun stuff rather than you know homework and uh occasional stuff that i don't really you know want to deal with so even though they are distracting from my real life responsibilities uh they do get me, my mind off of a lot of stuff that I don't want to have to focus on, um, and so, uh, you know, real life people, I have to talk to them about, you know, school and homework and how ugly our, you know, math teacher is or whatever, actually, my math teacher, my math teacher is like the 60-year-old guy last year, he wasn't ugly, um, I don't, I don't think anyone, I don't think he'd be watching this, Mr. Company, if you were watching this, then, oh, Boy, you, that, he, you were, he was a funny guy, actually. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about him. I'll complain if I'm gonna complain about anyone. I'll complain about my Spanish teacher. Oh, he was mean, and well, he wasn't mean. He was just like really uh, addicted to. He just loves Spanish too much, so he he says everything in Spanish, including the homework. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. This is why I don't do topic videos because I'm so bad at it. Uh, anyway, so the next pro I have is that uh, it's something about group chats. And uh, if you guys do not know, if you guys have never heard um, from anyone else in the group, uh, we have a group known as uh, Cream Tafted. Basically, uh, we call it Cream for short. We have a, a TeamSpeak, and uh, we have a Skype group, a big Skype group for it. I think we have like 20-some people in it at this 
point, you know, like early, like low twenties or something. I don't, I don't, I don't honestly remember the exact number. But we have people such as uh, Dylan. We have Mark. We have uh, Ant, Creeper Farts. We have Isaac, Private Fearless. Uh, we have you know Gold Solus. I think uh, yeah, we have Braden. We have Ryan. Um, we have Mr. Mitch. We have I think Noah's in there. And then um, let's do it. We have Stitch. We have oh god, I I don't want to forget anyone. So um, uh, let's see. We have Oteckers. We have um, I think we have Extreme HD in there. I don't honestly remember. But uh, yeah, I think I think those are the main people. If I'm forgetting anyone, then uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm forgetting anyone. Uh, Kyle was in it for a while, but then I think uh, when he quit YouTube, uh, or well, we like you know did his like revision to his YouTube channel. I think uh, he left the group. So. Yeah, he, he's gone at this point. Um, but the main people who talk in the group are uh, myself, and uh, Mark is uh, a pretty active member. Uh, oh, I almost forgot about, uh, let's see, uh, Poke Digger and uh, Tofu Gaming are part of it. But the most active people I would have to say, uh, just, uh, I mean, as in lately, would probably have to be myself, Mark, Dylan, Stitch, uh, Ant's pretty active. Um, we, we've kind of evolved lately into, um, from Minecraft. We used to do a lot of bad line PvP nights where we'd have, like, team, like, 5v5s or 4v4s or whatever. Uh, we've actually evolved kind of to CSGO, and, um, it's a lot more, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just the, the, the thing right now. It'll probably pass eventually, possibly, but for now, it's definitely the big thing. And, um, just like in Minecraft when you did bad line nights, uh, Mark is probably, like, the, the head honcho when it comes to, uh, you know, skill and um, I think Mark's brother plays with us sometimes, and uh, yeah, that, that's exactly like like I said in the beginning of the video. That's what I've been doing uh, with them for the past like six hours. That's why I'm up so late and why I haven't been recording. I was supposed to be recording like so many of these hours. I should have been to bed by now. I could have been sleeping by now, but oh well. I decided to play CS:GO because you kept winning the matches, and I had to keep playing anyway. So enough about that. Um, about group chats in general, not just about Cream Tafted, but. About group chats in general, uh, they're very fun, and uh, a lot of times if you're bored, um, you know, you might have like a, a text message group with your real life friends, but uh, you know, you're not you're not gonna really usually play games. You're probably just like talk about you know homework and stuff with them. But with your your Skype group, if you find a Skype group, you know, hold on to it tight because they are honestly, uh, it's just a lot of fun to have a Skype group. And so like whenever you're bored, you can be like, hey, does anyone want to play you know CS:GO with me or I want to play Minecraft with me? And they're like, oh yeah, sure, let's call up. And then uh, if you want to join the team speak, all you have to do is join the team speak, and usually there will be like a few people there, and you can talk to them. And and uh, basically, it prevents people from being bored and or lonely uh, in their day-to-day -day life. So, uh, it personally, it's helped me out a lot. And um, personally, I don't think I could ever find the same thing um, that's helped me as much uh, make me not bored uh, in a real-life, um, you know, kind of message group or whatever. So, uh, those are definitely a positive. One of the one of the big pros, in my opinion. Uh, and then the final pro I have is that it's not, it's not as much something... Uh, that would be, you know, for friendships. It's, it, it'd be more of kind of an online uh, relationship kind of thing, but it does kind of have an, a, um, an a effect on uh, friendships is that uh, people I feel like online are kind of less judgmental about stuff. So let's say in the real world you are uh, 7,000 pounds and uh, okay, that's that's an, a big hyperbole, but let's let's just say you're seven thousand pounds and you have uh, terrible acne and your face looks like a rhino. I don't even know. Like, let's just let's just say you're ugly. Um, so you might see a really good looking guy, you know, he's Prince Charming, and you guys might be like like completely good for each other as uh, friends. You might not know about each other. Uh, that you guys should be good friends. You probably wouldn't get the chance to know each other unless you're actually uh, meet online because you guys wouldn't see each other. And then you could bond, you know, with your personalities first and then looks and matter later. And, it, and not necessarily looks, but, you know, things in general, people would I, it seem to be less judgmental about. So if I'm, you know, if I, like, do bad on tests or something, people in real life would be like, oh, Jack... Ah, you should have studied more, and then it, it makes me annoyed because I'm like, ah, I don't want to study. Just leave me alone. And I, I, you know, I'm I'm more of an avoider of my problems, so uh, I like to avoid my problems by hanging out with my online friends, and then we just talk about Minecraft and stuff, and they don't care what grade I got on some test or something, because um, we usually don't talk about it. So uh, I, I just feel like they're less judgmental in general, and uh, for me, that's uh, that's a positive. It might not be a positive for everyone. People might want to be like, oh no, tell me the cold hard truth, and you know. Uh, you know, I want to talk about all my problems, but I'm not one of those people. I want to just have a good time, you know, a, go uh, a golly, a jolly old time. So, 
yeah, those I think those are all the the pros I have. There's obviously a lot more that are you know smaller pros that are you know like kind of that go hand in hand with some of them. But those are the four main ones I could think of at the top of my head. Um, so now the four cons that I have, and they're not as much cons as you know. Uh, I guess a plus for real life uh, friendships. Uh, the first one, obviously, it's probably not not the most important one, but the most obvious one is that you can't physically, you know, like hang out. Like, you know, sometimes if I hang out with friends in real life, we'd like have a sleepover or something, and we would chill, and we would have like a LAN party or something, and we'd drink soda together, and we'd play like you know some game on you know PS3 or something. Uh, you can't do that. Uh, with online people, um, and it doesn't matter as much because, you know, obviously it'd be a lot, you know, more important with, like, uh, an actual relationship because, like, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't kiss online. I don't, that, that, that hasn't been implemented in Skype technology yet, so uh, you can't do that yet, but it still does affect friendships a little bit. I feel like, you know, you're not as close sometimes if you don't, if you're not able to see them in real life. Um, that, that's just me. I, I feel that way a little bit, um, but it's not, it's not a huge thing. It's just kind of a, a minor thing. So anyway, the next pro I have, or that, no, the next con I have, hold on, let me get rid of all these. Oh, wait, I just dropped, oh, I, I dropped the emerald, whatever. Uh, okay, everything reset, that's beautiful. Uh, drop everything I don't need, and then have this fill up every slot that I have, so that everything can be filled up. Beautiful. All right, so back, back to my con list. I still have my second con. Uh, okay, now this is probably the biggest con that I have, in my opinion. It, well, it's not the biggest con I have, in my opinion. It's the biggest con that I have, probably, on this entire list here. Is that uh, if you let, let's say you have a conflict with someone in real life, you know you have a problem with someone in real life, you know you'll see him at school the next day probably, and then you're kind of gonna have to be forced to resolve it. Otherwise, you know other people that you know in the real world are gonna you know make sure you resolve it with that person so that you know they don't have to choose sides or whatever. And if you see him in school every day, there's a good chance you'll eventually you know have conflicts resolved. You know I've had a lot of conflicts with people in real life, and uh, they're resolved just because I have to go to school and I have to see them. And so I'm like you know there's no point in us being mad at each other and hating each other we may as well you know you know be friendly towards each other so uh honestly i feel like real life foolish or real life friendships are uh, easier to like mend um problems that happen whereas in let's say online you have a feud with someone and you know something stupid happens and uh, that person just removes you on skype and blocks you on twitter and you know never plays minecraft with you you know i feel like connections are a lot easier um you know you know i feel like um yeah the, the communication can be a lot easier to destroy um in an online friendship and then obviously things can be taken to an extreme you know they can remove you from skype and ban you from everything and make sure they never have to talk to you again so you know if someone wants to they don't ever have to talk to you again but at school you're pretty much forced to talk to each other and you're forced to resolve problems uh now some people may think of that as a good thing rather than a bad thing i, I look at that as a bad thing i want to resolve problems and not have you know bad blood between people uh maybe that's just me but i don't i don't think it's just me um otherwise maybe maybe it's just weird i don't even know um let me go back to pH diamond acid. All right, I keep forgetting I can't tab his name. All right, so next thing I have is that there's a possible time difference. Uh, I don't really have many people that I talk to except for you know like Isaac and Matt and uh, let's see. I don't really uh, Bryce is uh, Bryce lives in Australia. Um, he's not extremely active in the group though, so uh, it doesn't really matter. But uh, let's say you have a friendship with someone who's in the UK or something somewhere where it's a, the time difference is a lot different. Then uh, obviously you're gonna have to schedule. You're gonna have to fix your schedule, or you're, you're only gonna you're gonna have a limited amount of time to talk to them probably. Because by the time it's like you know uh, you know you know maybe, maybe like by the time you get home from school it'll already be like 3 a.m. for them. So um, yeah, those things can be a problem. They're less of a problem in the summer because you have more time, honestly. Or I mean, not honestly, obviously. Uh, but you know, regardless, uh, being on the same time. Uh, being in the same time zone as someone is definitely um, a better thing than being on a way different time zone than them because it's just easier to communicate and talk and discuss times to do stuff and it's just overall easier like you, you get the idea so the final con that I have is that uh, it's not a huge thing um, and it's not a problem for me personally but I can see why it would be for some people um, 
is that uh, online friends can kind of distract you from real life problems. I, I know earlier I said that was a good thing, but it can also be seen as a bad thing where like people in real life saying, oh yeah, did you finish uh, you know, all your math homework or something? And instead of responding to them, you hang out with your online friends in your group call and you just chill and play CSGO for seven hours. And then by the time you're done playing, it is two in the morning and you have an essay that is due in the next day and you have like a big you know, final. So it can distract you from real life responsibilities that you have whether it be school or maybe, you know, work you have to do or chores or just, like, spending time with, uh, you know, real-life friends that you promised you might spend time with. Uh, basically, real-life responsibilities in general can be distracting. Um, I guess real-life friends can do that, too, but I, I, I personally have had a lot more problems with distractions from online friends than uh, real-life friends because I talk to online friends a lot more. Um... But anyway, guys, I think that is all the that's all I have to talk about. It uh, overall, I am a huge believer in online friends versus uh, real life friends. Real life friends can still be cool. Uh, I just personally like uh, online friends. I, I just prefer them over them, and I have a lot more fun with online friends personally because uh, we we play games together and not talk about homework and boring stuff like that. So anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, let's go over forty slobbery likes. Make sure it's slobbery or it does not count as much in my heart. And I'll go back to my plot and I'll set this stuff off camera. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.